വെൽക്കം ടു എ ടി സി എം ദ എമർജൻസി മെഡിസിൻ ചാനൽ ടുഡേ വി ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു ഡിസ്കസ് എബൌട്ട് ദ റോയൽ കോളേജ് ഓഫ് എമർജൻസി മെഡിസിൻ ബെസ്റ്റ് പ്രാക്ടീസ് ഗൈഡ് ലൈൻസ് എബൌട്ട് ഇൻജെക്ഷൻ ഓഫ് സൂപ്പർ സ്ട്രോങ് മാഗ്നെറ്റ്സ് ഇൻ ചിൽഡ്രൻ സർ ഷാൽ വി ബിഗിൻ സർ സർ ഹിയർ വി ആർ അക്കോർഡിംഗ് ടു ദ ആർക്കം വി ആർ ഫോളോയിങ് എ ഗൈഡ് ലൈൻ ഇൻ കേസ് ഓഫ് എൻ ചൈൽഡ് കമ്മിങ് വിത്ത് മാഗ്നെറ്റ് ഇൻജെക്ഷൻ സോ ദ ഗൈഡ് ലൈൻ ഈസ് ലൈക്ക് ഹിയർ എ വിറ്റ്നെസ്ഡ് ഓർ സസ്പെക്റ്റഡ് റേർ എർത്ത് മാഗ്നെറ്റ് ഇൻജെക്ഷൻ ഓർ a child with unexplained ജി ഐ സിംറ്റംസ് വിത്ത് റേർ എറ്റ് മാഗ്നെറ്റ്സ് ഇൻ ദ ചൈൽഡ് എൻവയോൺമെൻറ്റ് സോ ഹിയർ വി വിൽ ഇനീഷ്യലി ഇറ്റ് സെൽഫ് അർജൻ്റ്ലി വി വിൽ ആസ്ക് ഫോർ ആൻ അർജൻറ്റ് അബ്ഡോമിനൽ ആൻഡ് ചെസ്റ്റ് എക്സ്റേ ഇറക്റ്റ് വിത്ത് ആൻഡ് ബേസിക്കലി ഡൺ ഇൻ ദ സെക്കൻഡറി സർവേ പാർട്ട് Yeah. Once you have stabilized, stabilized the child. Uh, once you have done your primary survey, you move to your secondary, secondary survey. survey. After taking the ample history, you will get, uh, you'll get to know that whether there is a history of witnessed or suspected rare earth magnet. Magnus. Or if the, regarding uh, the GI symptoms, the, like the parents will be telling mm. the patient has got abdominal pain, mm. vomiting, slider symptoms, symptoms, yeah. symptoms like that. And then you will suspect Suspect a, a magnet magnetic condition. Condition. Especially in the, uh, in the presence of a uh history history, history of so, yeah. magnet beside the uh, child child so the mainly the uh, child will present with some of the some symptoms like strider wheezing like our other noisy breathing drooling difficulty in swallowing coughing choking or gagging when eating or drinking vomiting chest pain or discomfort abdominal pain decreased appetite or refusal to t- eat so uh, uh, abdominal pain may not be uh, initially seen initially later on can be seen so these might be the symptoms that child gonna uh, present to us even strider can be there strider can be there so uh, uh, strider is seen also in croup also croup also with barking cough and like that okay so in this condition we will ask for an urgent x ray including chest and abdominal x ray and abdominal x ray when lying down ideally ap and uh, we will also request for a lateral ab- abdominal x ray okay. this is done in case of single magnet is seen in ap x ray to rule out if it is uh, like multiple uh, uh, magnets seen back back so we will take a lateral x ray also so you first of all you take a rect x ray chest x ray abdominal, abdominal x ray uh, if it is a single magnet seen we will go on with an okay. lateral x ray also we go on with a lateral abdominal x ray Ab- abdominal x ray not just this abdominal x ray abdominal x ray and further we will check whether this is single or multiple if the uh, ap and lateral x ray saying that the child has ingested a single magnet we will uh, then uh, follow along the criteria for discharging the child the uh, criteria for discharging the child is with like a single magnet the chances of the child getting discharged is high hi so the next question is whether the child can be discharged or not mm. okay so what are the what is the what are the discharge criteria, criteria. so the discharge criteria is one is the main thing single magnet ingestion and other than that if at all the child has uh, taken the uh, bad, uh, magnet by an accidental ingestion or if it, there is not comorbidities and uh, the child is tolerating oral intake and presenting to our hospital within 24 hour and caregiver can provide close observation to the child then we can suggest for a discharge and then later on we will so add all these criteria should be met hmm. single magnet injection accidental injection no comorbidities in the child child is tolerating oral intake child presents within 24 hours of injection and caregiver can provide close observation if all these criteria are met then you can go with the discharge for, for the dis- discharge mm. okay and following the discharge we will then advise about a, a return for uh, again an x ray repeat x ray yeah. uh, an advice leaflet should be uh, mm. ideally uh, given given mm. uh, like uh, uh, during discharge yes okay so when to return and when to repeat the x ray things like that what to look for look for these kind of things are given in the uh, uh, the leaflet mm-hmm. so here the main things we have to uh, give uh, for the leaflet is like we'll have to follow up a x ray like 6 to 12 hours later and uh, uh, we, the child and the uh, parents should come for the repeat x ray and also the child 
should remove any other external magnetic objects nearby and avoid clothes with clothes with metallic buttons or belt with buckle that might uh, cause an uh, like attraction between the magnet and the metallic so avoid things avoid all met met metallic objects Ob objects the, this thing even the, uh, the buttons, buckles bu bu mm. bu bu buttons as well as the belt, belt buckles buckles to avoid dislodgement of the magnet if mm. at all it is present mm. okay because we are basically uh, expecting the magnet to magnet to move down mm. okay to those tools mm. so a follow up x ray should be done at least 6 to 12 hours 6 after 12. initial mm. uh, uh, x ray x ray and also okay. we'll be um, asking them to look out for like uh, vomiting abdominal pain blood in their vomiting fever these concerns they can come to a hospital for further care yes And what are we basically? Uh, we want to demonstrate the repeat follow-up ex abdominal X-ray is basically to demonstrate that the magnet has, has passed, passed through through the stomach, stomach and, and it is progressing through the small bowel, small bowel or beyond. Hmm. And if there is a progression of the single magnet, the, which is should be confirmed by the radiologist also, and the child is re remaining asymptomatic, we will further. Uh, as uh, discharge the child with uh, advice and uh, the advance advice the leaflet also hmm. and the other thing is if the child has so anyway you will have to be you will have to inform you will have to confirm the findings with the radiologist radiologist you yourself can't uh, make the final hmm. uh, this thing and, and the patient should be asymptomatic uh, also okay. asymptomatic also if the uh, the single magnet discharge criteria as we have already discussed is not met if any of the criteria is not met then we will discuss with the local surgical team including the pediatric surgeon for admission and observation so and this criteria in the, for this uh, arkham exam and all your uh, for mcqs they may, they may ask what is the all the following are the discharge SI criteria, criteria all except this one hmm. okay so we have got six points all these six points will have to be you will have to memorize mm. okay then if any of the criteria is not meeting then we'll have to uh, discuss with the local pediatric team or surgical team for admission observation and repeat x ray and if there is any symptoms or signs at any time they will uh, will give an urgent discussion with the specialist pediatric surgical team or uh, there is a, a center with the pediatric surgical center for further management and transfer this is about uh, like we are, we are dealing with the case in uk uk there this is the protocol mm. here we have got a, in our institute we have got a pediatric pediatric surgical surgery. there and all so first of all you discuss with a local surgical team plus or minus pediatrics need not be necessarily pediatric surgeon for admission and observation and repeat x ray but any point of time there, there appears to be some symptom or sign then you will have to uh like refer the patient urgently to a uh, specialist pediatric surgery specialist mm -hmm. okay to plan further management as well as for transfer or whatever depending on where where you work mm -hmm. okay all right and and in cases of where there is um, like if the button is not been uh, progressed and failure to progress then and if but the child is remain magnet magnet, magnet, magnet to, progress, to progress and but the child is remaining asymptomatic we will uh, further discuss the same with the specialist pediatric surgical center for further imaging observation and removal the removal here will be like a endoscopic removal okay and uh, the other thing is like if the child has not ingested a single magnet that is multiple ingestion of magnets or if there is any child is having any signs and symptoms of intestinal obstruction or any evidence of intestinal obstruction and uh, the here we will directly consult with the specialist pediatric surgical center for further management and transfer okay so in which all conditions you will refer to a pediatric surgery i uh, he, he, he will we will dis, uh, refer the child for pediatric surgery in cases where there is uh, like uh, if if there is multiple magnet that is one thing oh, yeah. and if the child has ingested the magnet with a button battery okay 
and or uh, like features of intestinal obstruction mm. and complications are ar arising from the intestinal obstruction mm. that the complications are like the child can have ulceration necrosis perforation rupture stricture fistula or hemorrhage and mediastinitis and gastric outlet or bowel obstruction with the valvulus sepsis these conditions we will further uh, move along with the further management including the removal of the okay so these magnet. are the complications you expect in a uh, uh, magnet, magnet injection. injection and multiple magnet injection has got more complicated more complications complications because it will cause uh, the uh, ischemia obstruction, obstruction so likely to mm. stick together stick together okay so that is from intestinal obstruction mm. single magnet is if the, uh, normally it will go through the stools mm. okay and other question that can come is when do you refer the patient to a pediatric surgery mcqs they'll give you five options and which is one will be not the things so of the like if the patient has got uh, symptoms or signs of intestinal obstruction if there are multiple magnets if there is an evidence of intestinal uh, obstruction or even if the uh, if any of the discharge criteria is not met then normally you'll go with the local pediatric Uh, surgery, surgery admission, according to the algorithm. Mm. You've got an algorithm in there. You can just uh, see the what the, the guideline May twenty twenty one guidelines. Super strong mag magnet injection mm. Arkham. Arkham uh, guidelines. Guidelines. You can just go through that. And there is an algorithm. And if there uh, uh, happens to be any symptoms or uh, signs at any time, then you'll have to consult a pediatric pediatric surgery. Surgery. Okay. Or if there is a failure of magnet to progress, and patient. is asymptomatic but magnet is not progressing still you have you have to contact pediatric surgery pediatric surgery so these are the indications for contacting pediatric surgery team okay uh, anything more to okay. no? that's it and that's all nice okay okay thank you sir